Well, I do deer hunts for whitetail and sicka. Also do waterfowl hunts, and also offer turkey hunting. Okay. So whatever's in season, if it flies, walks, we'll hunt it. Awesome. So uh, our guys doing, uh, of course, firearm bow. Yeah, bow season is in right now. Muzzleloader season comes in in a couple weeks. Okay. Then the rifle season comes in the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Perfect. So if folks wanted to uh, get in contact with you, how would they do so? Uh, my number is 443-521-0199. Or my email is Bradshaw's Guide Service at gmail.com. Perfect, perfect. So can you tell me about maybe just a couple of success stories uh, with uh, hunting down here, um, maybe in the volume or quantity of, of deer harvested or even even some of the geese? Well, the, the deer harvest, I think we shot 17 deer total last year. And that was during the bow, muzzleloader and rifle season. Now the waterfowl season, they've cut me down to 30 days, so that's all I, I get to hunt. So the numbers weren't that great, but we did have a good couple hunts. Awesome. So and I, that's for ducks and geese. I hunt both at the same time. We've got a five acre berm pond that I flood and it's planted with millet. So I flood it for the waterfowl and that's how we hunt. Perfect. So can you tell folks uh, geographically uh, where we're located? Not your personal address, but just geographically where, where we're located. Um, on the eastern shore of Maryland, Cambridge, Maryland, I'm, I'm about five miles west of Cambridge. We have Fishing Creek on the front of my property and the Little Chop Tank River behind my property. So it's a peninsula that we're hunting on. There's water all the way around us. So it's a good place to go. Has a lot of wildlife, a lot of agriculture. So it, it's, it's a very good spot, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a lot of uh, years and experience um, managing uh, your outdoor hunting business. And uh, as you mentioned, you lived here, you know, since your childhood. Right. So um, I know you got a lot of experience to come along with that. So 30 years. Awesome. Well, I know people, uh, outdoor folks, uh, can certainly look forward to having a great uh, and productive uh, hunting season uh, should they have an opportunity to come down and uh, spend some time with you. And yeah. anything we can do to get the kids interested in hunting, you got to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. It's important to uh, introduce our youth, you know, young boys, young girls to the outdoors. I tell you, there's um, an exciting world that awaits them. Right. You know, uh, as I shared when I was introduced, I mean, I've been bitten by that bug and uh, it, it just adds so much value and vitality to people's lives, I believe, right. you know, um, keeps their mind on things that are, are, are pure and natural. And it just puts them into an element where they can really grow and explore and learn about God's um, all that God has provided for us, right. you know, outdoor wonders. This is God's country, man. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> And on that, I can contest that uh, for the last couple of years, uh, myself and uh, Gerard have been down with Bradshaw. And great guy. He puts you on. He carries you to the stands. He tells you how the days are moving. And what I do love about him personally is he's honest. He's going to tell you straight up it's a possibility and it's a possibility yeah. you won't get something. But I will tell you this. Hey, if you're a hunter and if you're very interested in hunting, come see my guy. Great guy, great guy, Bradshaw. Look him up, call him, get in touch with him. A great experience. Absolutely. Anything that you'd like to share, uh, Gerard, about your experiences uh, down here with Bradshaw? Again, it's the same thing Sean said. We first met with Mr. Bradshaw. He explained everything to us. He took us to our stands, each one of us, came back to get us, brought us out gave us direction, gave us the possibility of, like Sean said, well, we may get something, we may not get anything. Even when we did get a harvest, he actually helped bring the deer back to the property and took us to the actual um, Process. processor. So it'll, it'll be a good experience, especially for a lot of first timers. 
to have someone that's this much involved to guide himself, have be mm -hmm. this much involved. He does everything with you except fire the shot for you. <laughs> I, I mean, I can say that personally because <laughs> I've been coming down here and he's done it for me each time ever since the first day I met him. So it's, it's like this will be the best possible first experience you can have. Mm -hmm. And it'll keep you coming back. And key factor in that, he's 100% on safety. When you get here, it's not just going straight to the woods. You have some paperwork that you do with him. That's what I love about him. He's very business oriented and he's about safety. And he's about once you harvest your game, it's not okay, have a nice day. He makes sure you get it to the processors. He even helps you get it out of the woods. So come on, y'all. Urban Outdoors. Bradshaw, check him out. Thank you. Awesome. This is. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Duck call, goose call. Just a little demonstration on the goose call, duck call. <laughs> Of what I do. <laughs> Urban Outdoors here in Lakewood, down on the eastern shore. Got Gerard, who shot a squirrel, just retrieving him. And got something. There we go, the first squirrel of the day. How far was he, Gerard? Right here. I shot him right off this ledge. Nice. That's what, 10, 12 yards? Yeah. That was quick harvest. Oh yeah, we ain't been here 10 minutes.